I was getting ready to go to bed, but I wanted to film this and this video will change your life if you actually implement what I'm about to say here in this word. So to give you a little bit of context before I go into what could ultimately change your life forever if you understand this concept, I want to give you a little bit of background. So in the TRF program, you know, we have a program helping out men to overcome porn and masturbation. But within that program, we don't just help men stop looking at naked people on a screen or just help them focus on overcoming loss. It's much bigger than that. It's about a concept called becoming the, the man that no longer goes back to porn and masturbation. So we focus on every single area within our lives, on our physique, on our relationship with God, on our family, on our friends, and truly living a fulfilled life so that we no longer want to go back to a vice like porn and masturbation. So naturally within that concept, you know, what, what we teach, we naturally attract a lot of ambitious men who are looking to overcome porn and masturbation and want to do bigger and better things than just the average Joe, you know, who sits at home, eats Cheetos, you know, works a, you know, you know, a regular job and watches sports all day, you know, is addicted to porn, is addicted to sex. And it's just a mediocrity, the average Joe, the average man that, that lives in today's society who has completely no ambitious, but we, we, we don't do that within our community and within our program. And the reason why I say all that is because if you're truly a man who's focused on this Christ-centered self-improvement, and you're a man who's watching this right now, you want to overcome porn and masturbation, you want to become you know, financially successful, you want to become a man of God, you want to become physically in shape, this is what's going to happen to you. If you keep on going down this journey and you stay consistent, you work hard, you're going to become successful. It's just inevitable. I mean, if you just work hard and you're just consistent in what you do in the gym and your relationship with God and you, you know, you take, you take uh, action, walk by faith, not by sight. You know, the Bible says, don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer of the word. So if you actually do the word, if you actually are in the gym, if you're actually doing things to better yourself as a man, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be people who come into your life that will try to drag you down. So let me give you an example. There's a crab in a barrel, right? If you've never heard this example before. So if you put a bunch of crabs in a barrel, what will happen is if any crab tries to escape that barrel, the other crabs will try to drag him down and try to drag him back into the place of the barrel subconsciously. Now, this also happens within social circles as well. If people are seeing you become a better version of yourself, especially maybe older, older friends who used to see you within your lowest points within your life, this happened to me, you know, friends who I was with when I was addicted to alcohol, when I was addicted to smoking weed, when I was at my lowest point within, you know, porn and masturbation, I was heavily addicted to it. Those friends, when they saw me doing better things within my life, and I was no longer smoking, I was no longer going to addiction, I was, you know, building a program, building a business, going ahead and focusing on God and wanting to improve within my physique, they started to naturally gravitate away from me, not because they didn't want to do those things themselves. If you ask any single person out there, do you want six pack abs? Every single person will say yes. Everybody knows what they want. But a lot of people aren't willing to put in the work to get what they want. And they don't match their words with actions. So a lot of times when they see somebody else matching their words with action what they do is they criticize that person and say oh this brother is you know this and that and that and that and that and that and they criticize you so they make themselves feel better so that they can be content in their mediocrity so i'll give you more examples if you're truly on this path and you're looking to overcome porn and masturbation, looking to become the best version of you that you possibly can be, uh, your self, you, you're on Christ-focused self-improvement, and you're you know you put your head down and you're grinding and you you're getting some success. You know there's gonna be some people that come in and say, oh why are you quitting porn? And your friends might be, why are you quitting porn and masturbation, bro? It's not that deep. Some people will say to you, oh man, you know I watch porn every day and and you know I'm, I'm this and I'm that. I'm so successful. You don't need to do all that, man. You you, you can. Just just stop right now. And the reason they're saying that is because they, they do want you to keep on going to porn and masturbation and not because they want you to become a worse version of yourself, but because they want you to stop improving so that they don't have to look at themselves in the mirror and instead they can feel better that you're failing within life like they are. So a lot of people, they want to be surrounded by losers and failures. They do this subconsciously. No one really goes, I want to be surrounded by losers. Subconsciously, a lot of people surround themselves with failures failures and losers. So then that way, when they're losing in life, you know, everybody around them is losing in life. They don't feel as bad. But if they're surrounded by winners, they feel way worse about themselves because they, they think to themselves, I'm not 
doing enough. And it's it's more difficult for someone to look in the mirror and say, hey, I need to do better and I'm gonna improve and I'm gonna do uncomfortable things to get better within my life. That's way more uncomfortable than to just accept mediocrity and be surrounded by people who are also in mediocrity. That's way easier to do, which is what 99% of people do. So if you're on this path, you're looking to overcome porn and masturbation. You're looking to improve yourself in, 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 in your physique, in the gym, you know, within your Bible, within being a man of God, preaching the word of God, street preaching, doing all these things. And you see a lot of people, oh brother, it doesn't take all that. You don't have to do all the spiritual warfare. You don't, you don't have to preach in the streets. Oh, you don't have to read your Bible. You don't have to pray for that amount of time. You don't have to go to the gym. Some people, someone called me the, the other, this was months ago actually, but someone called me, you know, unhumble because, you know, I like going to the gym and because I have, I have, you know, a, a good physique and I'm like, what is even going on? This, this, this religious spirit. I don't, I don't even know, man, but it's a lot of people just don't understand that in terms of becoming financially successful, in terms of leading other men, in terms of getting a social media following, in terms of improving your physique, in terms of becoming the best man of God that you can be, that's not for other people to say. I couldn't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you see this. I want to help whoever wants to help. So whoever has ears to hear, they will hear. But I don't care about anybody else seeing me doing all this, doing all that. I just want to inspire more people. I want to help more people do the same because I lived a life of mediocrity. I lived a life of addiction to weed, to alcohol. I used to smoke every single day, you know, and I used to live such a terrible life to where I don't want anybody else to live that life anymore. So guess what? I improved my life in every single area within my life. A lot of my old friends no longer are friends with me anymore. Not because they, they didn't want to go on this path with me. Everybody wants to become a man of God. Everybody wants to be honorable. Everybody wants to become financially successful. Everybody wants to have six pack abs. But a lot of people, they don't follow what they say with their actions. So when you actually start to follow what you say with your actions, Expect a lot of people to phase out within your life and expect some controversy to come your way because a lot of people, again, they don't, they're, they're too comfortable in their mediocrity and they're too content within being a failure instead of looking in the mirror and admitting that they're a failure and making a change. They go ahead and point the mirror back to you and tell you why you should change to adapt to their mediocrity so that they don't feel as bad. So. If people are hating on you for quitting porn and masturbation, if people are hating on you for wanting to become a business owner and become financially successful as a Christian, some religious spirits, they try to tell you this, right? You know, some people are, you can't be rich and be a Christian, right? You know, they say the, the it's easier for a camel to cross, you know, uh, the, the needle, right? I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing the, the Bible scripture when that Bible scripture is taken completely out of context within what they're trying to say. So don't pay attention to the people who have nothing going on within their lives. Pay attention to what God has for you. And when people start to hate, because they will, if you do become successful in you know, areas within your life, um, just keep it pushing and just know that you're doing a good job and know that you're on the right path and you need to keep on going. I can't tell you how many number of comments, you know, how many number of all this of people just so, you know, they, they just want to be a victim so badly. And it's really sad to see. Um, it, it's kind of depressing. I'm not even going to lie. But, you know, I don't care if I'm the last one. I'm going to continue to keep on going and, and become the best version of myself that I possibly can within my physique, within um, you know, my program helping men to overcome porn and masturbation. We will help 1 million men to overcome porn and masturbation, regardless if you're happy of it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, you know, I'm going to do the best that I possibly can to learn on stocks, to learn on investment, to learn on real estate, not to glorify myself and make money for myself so that I could buy stupid things, but to bring more, bring more finances to the kingdom. You know, the kingdom is, 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 I mean, we need finances right now. The kingdom of God needs finances right now. Um, and I want to do the best that I possibly can to become the best in every single aspect of my life. So I can glorify God. The Bible says to glorify him in everything that you do. So a lot of people just think worship is reading the Bible and praying every now and then. But no, it, it's how you live your lifestyle. You worship God in the gym by how hard you go in the gym. You worship God in, in your ministry, in your business, with how hard you work in your ministry and your business. You worship God within how you speak. You worship God within every single area within your life. And I wish more people would understand that, but uh, a lot of people they don't want to do Christ-focused self-improvement because why? It's difficult, it's uncomfortable, and it's hard. And most people are so deathly afraid of doing anything that's hard, which is why they'll always be a failure and they'll never do anything for the kingdom of God. And I'm just being completely blunt and super, super honest. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like 
like, whoa, this guy's super intense. Whoa, this guy's mean. But it's like, yeah, I mean, the average 20 year old, the average 30 year old is, I mean, their life sucks. And it's just, my life's not gonna suck. And if you wanna watch me, you know, do cool things and awesome. But I encourage you to join me so that you can also do cool things and live an exciting life and, you know, get well done, my good and faithful servant when it's all said and done. So anyways, I'm going to go to bed. It's pretty late. Just wanted to record this real quick. Hopefully someone got value.